Uh, they were back in action. They won 2 1 against Switzerland. It was a friendly at Wembley. Mm -hmm. um, but what was uh, interesting about it is it wasn't quite a vintage performance. He did um, change things around a little yeah. bit, especially at the back as well. Um, but the win signalled 21 games unbeaten for England. Uh, and after that match, is it really 21 games unbeaten for England? It wasn't inspiring, though, was it? I wasn't inspired when I watched that game. And in normal time, yeah. I was going to say, because I remember one big loss like in particular. I in think a you lost Euros one in final. penalties, did you not? I think you lost one in penalties, if I remember. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Ali. Thanks, Ali. Where, yeah. How did you guys get in that, that tournament? <laughs> <laughs> it was same, same as you, we didn't win it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Do you remember you beat us at Wembley? No, no. No, no. Anyway, should we hear from <clears throat> Southgate? He spoke about how <clears throat> pleased he was to integrate those new players. We want to remain hard to beat and I think the players have got pride in the, uh, in the record that they've got. Um, today I was as pleased with the, you know, the opportunity to see some new players and the way they performed. Um, in the end I think we got stronger of course the, the changes we had some experienced players to come on but we're trying to manage these two games and get everybody through them so um, I thought it was a really good test. Uh, I think Switzerland are a very good team used the ball well, tactically intelligent. So, um, yeah, it was a, a, a really helpful exercise for us. Uh, OK, there we go. So a win, um, but they did... I mean, Jordan Pickford got them out of a lot of trouble in the first half, Jamie. Yeah, Jordan Pickford was brilliant. Again, mm -hmm. he shows why he is the number one goalkeeper when he plays for England. And, um, you know, fair play to him. But I thought we were, oh, we were really bang average it was a, a dull performance I know he changed the team but there wasn't really many sort of positives to come out of it I thought Conor Gallagher was excellent I really liked him when he got on the ball he tried to make things happen I wasn't I wasn't really too convinced with the back three I thought there was a bit all over the place communication didn't seem right I know they haven't played many games together I was going to say is that normal for a team that are getting used to each other yeah I guess so and, and the back three is you know if you if you're not used to playing with someone and you have to keep drumming it in of where you have to stand and where you have to be a back three can be quite difficult and I think that showed in the first half they struggled with that and Shakiri, you know was uh, looked like Messi in the end in the first half because he just kept getting in pockets and getting on the ball but yeah I wasn't I wasn't overly convinced it was better when Sterling come on Rice come on in midfield you know you got the big hitters on the pitch and we looked a, a lot more comfortable but um, apart from Conor Gallagher I wasn't really I wouldn't say there was anyone really there who who stood out to me. I, I thought so, mate. I enjoyed it. First thing I would say, I, I think you're spot on your assessment here, Jamie. I thought Spitz were actually very good first half. I did. Um, I thought England back three looked a bit shaky. I thought it, it kind of isolated Henderson a little bit in the middle of the yeah. park as well. But, you know, they're a, Switzerland are a good team as well, and they got to the quarters of the, of the Euros. So they're a good side. Plus the fact, Jamie, I think you're spot on. I think Gareth is trying things. He's giving people opportunities that deserve it. And you're still winning games, so I, I still think you know, there's far more pluses and negatives. Mm. But I did ag agree with you. I thought um, Conor Gallagher was excellent again. Yeah, I, I saw. Him I'd like to see him play in midfield with Declan Rice because mm. I was I was quite upset actually when he when he went off for Declan Rice because yeah. I thought them two together because the art of standing still, Ali, you know this. The art of standing still as a midfielder is actually a great thing because yeah. a lot of the time when they was trying to play little bounce passes out, Ben White was trying to look for a midfielder mm. to play a little bounce to get. Out out of trouble there wasn't anyone there because Conor Gallagher and, and Henderson were you know they're they sort of they're all over the pitch they want to be everywhere and in amongst it Declan Rice when he come on he just stands in front of the back four or in front of the back three and he just dicks, he dictates the, mm -hmm. the tempo and that's an art to have that type of player in your team and I'd like to have that and see Rice in front of them and then Conor Gallagher being the player that goes around searching for the ball and getting on it and making things happen but that's something I'd like to see. Mm, um, I wanted to read out Luke Shaw's comments, and they're a little bit long, but the reason I want to do it all, because um, I don't want to just take pits out and I don't want them to be misinterpreted. Um, this is what he was saying about going to England. Uh, the environment here that Gareth creates, you always enjoy it. I think when I come, for me, it's about enjoyment, playing games with a smile on my face and enjoying it. I feel like here, when I come here, I always do that. We all love playing for our country. I think everyone does. It's always important to feel like you're wanted, especially here, I always feel that. I'm not saying I don't at United, but especially here, the way things are, I feel wanted and I enjoy my football. So I think what he's saying is, especially here, yeah, he is <laughs> I'm enjoying he, my football. He's saying that he's not loved at Manchester United. No, 
I don't think he's saying he's not loved at Manchester United. In fact, he's, he's directly said, I'm not saying that I don't love Manchester United. But well, then why say anything? Well, is it is it more to do with the fact that at Manchester United, they're onto their third manager this season. They're under a lot of pressure. Perhaps things aren't going their way. Um, so he's not enjoying it so much. Yeah, I think so. I think I think you can tell when the way that Manchester United are playing at the minute. If you look at the players there, especially the English players who are playing for Manchester United, are really struggling. Uh, you know, Harry Maguire, Rashford, Sancho, um, you know, Luke Shaw. These are players who are big players for England. You know, we've needed them, and I think we still need them. You know, watching the game, I think you know we need John Stones, we need Harry Maguire. Hundred like, percent. Without them, I think we're a completely different side. And I don't care what anyone says about Harry Maguire; he's brilliant for England. We need him playing at his best, and he's not doing it at Manchester United. Jamie, how Luke many Shaw times as well. have we seen it? How many times have we seen it? We speak about it, mate. Sometimes you play your best games when you don't play. Oh, you tell me I mean? about it. And, Jermaine and Genius was the best at that. Yeah. Well, it's the case with Harry Maguire. I've got to say to you. And listen, of course, his form hasn't been great. I accept that and, and totally understand that. But I, I still think England are, are and will be a better side with him in it. Yeah, I, I think we massively missed Harry Maguire and John Stones. I really do. And it just shows that them, them comments for me sums up what's going on at Manchester United. There isn't enough communication. There isn't enough love going around for the players. They haven't got a manager there who wants to get the best out of them. It's just, it's an interim manager. So no one knows where they stand. And I think you're seeing that with the lack of confidence in their performances. And, you know, Luke Shaw comes away of England, plays well, scores a goal. And you think, well, I'm, you know, I'm sure Harry Maguire will feature probably tomorrow. And I'm sure he'll have a good game. And I just feel like something's not right at Manchester United that needs to get sorted. Because when it comes around to the World Cup, we need them players. Them players of Manchester United, we need. We can't have players, no disrespect, from Crystal Palace. You know, like they're good players and, and talented and got really good futures. But you need your best players that are playing for the top clubs. Is that not going to be, I mean, I mean, from the players that were that started the weekend, we know that they're not all going to be the starters. And we know that he's going to mix it around a little bit. Um, but in terms of what we see in the next one, you're wanting... Are you are you sort of saying, look, bring Harry Maguire back in, bring Stones back in, start them, and then let's get it... Let's get settled and let's stop experimenting so much. Absolutely. I mean, we need Harry Maguire in the team. I don't care what anyone says. John Stones has to play as well. And then it's just about who plays alongside him. Uh, is it, you know, Tyra Mings? Is it Gay? who I thought was okay? Um, you know, Carl Walker can play in a back three. I thought we looked a lot more comfortable in a back four, to be honest with you. And I think that gives us more attacking threat. But yeah, the, 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 the big players, you could see we lacked... We lacked something. We lacked star quality without them them players in the side, especially players like Saka. You know, when Grealish come on, we look better. Um, I, I, I feel like we, we wasn't... That England team that I saw the other day didn't inspire me to think, wow, we've got a really bright future. We still need the players that we've had in the Euros. Mm. OK, guys, um, thanks for your comments on that.